Buckner, number five, Sam Smith, tackled by number 14, Derek LeGrand. Thank uh-huh. you. 
second touchdown catch of the night. Surprise quarterback Brock Robinson has came out and thrown two touchdowns tonight. In the first. 
With 47 seconds still on the clock, I mean. sitting on a goose egg. to uh, number 18, Schmel, 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 we're going Schmel, E-H makes an eh sound. Comments break the huddle, still looking for their first, first, first down of the night. Dive to Sam Smith, met at the line by number 18, Seth Schmel. That was a lot of work to just get back to the line of scrimmage. I used some speed of our game. We try to use that when I was in high school and after college. It keeps disconnecting from that. You're gonna have to use this mic. Oh, yeah. It just it, it won't connect. We don't know why. You're gonna have to use the computer mic. Well, that's not gonna work out well. Yeah. Do we want to try a different chord? Mm, you can try it.
Yeah, you're gonna probably turn it, like it's still not working. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna try to uh, continue this broadcast. Uh, we're having some microphone difficulties, so hopefully uh, you're picking us up okay. And wrapped up right at the line of scrimmage. Wow, four Panthers on that tackle. Gain of about three inches, it looks like. Man in motion, there's the snap. Oh, Hickle in trouble. He's going to keep it. Pushed out of bounds at about the 46 yard or 48 yard line. And they're great awareness to play by Hickle. Had a lot of pressure in front of space, being seen by open, but looking at himself and then third Comments now, third and three. Just past the midfield mark. Ball in the hands of Evan Howard, who stopped at the line of scrimmage. So, do you gamble on this or do you punt? Uh, your side of the field, I can go for you. You see the have gets on the down going on this guy, and you can try to tackle all the things. And Hickel comes up short. Comets will turn over at the 47 yard line, 48 yard line. Two and a half minutes gone here in the second. We're going to go right. It's about eight on that play. Directly in can even go. It won't even connect. Let's try that. Right, Robinson with the carry. Got to move the chains for the Panthers again. Ball now on the 33. He was able to cut that whole full speed and was able to fly through it. Anybody was playing stuff on the down. It was good for Chris Bell. Robinson, he carried the ball 41 times last game. I don't think we'll see that as much as we'll see that many carries from this time. Who knows? Comes out with Smith on his left hip. Hand off to Smith. Hand off to Smith. Wrapped up. Gain of a couple yards on that. Evan Howard with that tackle. Tackle by number 20, Howard. 
Straight up the middle. Brought down just a yard shy of the chains. Third and one, 24 to the goal line. It's going to be a handoff to pitch over to Rosa. Rosa gets tackled, pass first down. And Thought I saw a flag fly. Number 15, Rosa on the carry. Tackled by number 19, Kyle Routabush. Routabush with the tackle there. And looks like we had a face mask hold by the Comets. Panther student section with a thing or two to say about that. I'm pretty impressed with the size of both student sections tonight, actually. There's a snap. Drop back. And open pass to Toloza is hit for six. Pioneer is Pioneer is typically a ground team, aren't they? So I think we're seeing why uh, why we're sticking with the second string quarterback. There's a snap. Robinson with a pass to number five. Katie okay, Hill. Put two more on there. 636 left in the second. Current score Panthers 22, comment zero. Especially in the red zone, especially in that inside that 25 yard line. Pioneer just seems like they run the same kind of stuff on that. On that they run something in the flat, and it's, it works. And it'll be Odom out there to kick for the Pioneer now, the 6'3 senior. There's the boot. Good catch there by Grant Hickel. Breaks a couple tackles and taken out of bounds at the 40. Great athleticism there, uh, stretching for that kick that was over his head, coming down with a solid play. Because he plays both sides. So first down and 10 coming up for the Comets. Snap, we're going to hand off to Sam Smith. Brought down at the line of scrimmage. Uh, excuse me, he gained a yard. If I'm doing a really good job down the line, I'll punch into the line because he's really 
having a low up the middle and really doing a lot of pressure on the TV. So far, coming in, coming in, he's being at 12 tackles. Six minutes to go in the first half of play. All right, comments on the football. Snap. Sam Smith, he's going to try to, ooh. He was going to try to come to the right side. Got wrapped up way behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of about seven yards on that. Comets third and or third and seventeen now. Hickle looking for a play. Gets wrapped up deep behind the line of scrimmage again. Number seven, Brett Hedlong, Gary. Tackle by number seventeen. Comets fourth and twenty-two. Certainly not the direction they wanted this set downs to go. Trying to go first half. There's the punt. And it'll roll back to the 24 yard line. Just over four minutes left in the half. Panthers taking possession on the 24 yard line. Robinson with the pass. That's a first down. And tackled by number 10, Josh Sullivan. Panthers now with football on the 43 yard line. Robinson with a very successful night passing this evening. Comments seem to be struggling to uh, adjust to the fact that it's not a ground game tonight. And when Robinson tried to make it a ground game, Comets knew just how to stop that. Robinson keeps it again. Shuts down with the gain, gain of about three yards on that. Panthers now three and six. Ball still a little short of midfield. So Hunter, at this time, at this point, you've shown two runs. You've had a successful air game tonight. Put it in there. Nope. Guess not. And. Number two, Logan Smith on the game tackle by number twenty. 
gain of six for Logan Smith on third down. And the chains are moving. I wasn't sure how they were going to call that one, Hunter. Robinson takes a snap. Tries to keep it. Gets shut down just a little ahead of the line of scrimmage. Sweet had two touchdowns so far for the Panthers. Robinson rolls out to the left. Yes, he does. Met by Grant Hickel, finally taken down by a couple of other comments. See Sam Smith involved with that. And Van Chanlock. Timeout, Pioneer. Pioneer with the timeout. Panthers third and one right now. Snap. Robinson rolls out to the right. Finds a hole. He can go away. And no. Pushed out of bounds by number 19. Oh, that's Kyle Rattabush. More than enough to move the chains, though. Line of scrimmage down at the 15 yard line. There's a snap. Thinks about passing, keeps it, and lobs it off. Pass complete to number 14. And flag on the play. It'll bring the ball back. Robinson takes a snap, drops back, passes no good. Pioneer now, second and 15. Bumbles that snap. And pass complete. I can't believe he completed that pass. After that snap, I cannot believe that pass was to Lozo on the receiving end of that. First and goal, two to go. 35 seconds on the clock. Robinson's going to go under center this time. Robinson. 
Takes a snap, loses it for a second. Stays on Robinson the takes a snap. Pushes his way into the end you know, zone. You know, from where we're right standing, now. it looked like he took the snap and actually balanced off the ball. But uh, perception is reality, and the refs couldn't see that from where they were. Panthers looking to make it around 30. Snap, Robinson. Pass is... And that two-point conversion is good. Pass is good. I thought the Hickle had a hand on that to tip it. With 23 and a half seconds left in the half, Panthers now 30 to nothing. Comments lining up to receive. Alright, so Hunter, less time on the on the game clock than the play clock in the half. You receive and then go to the locker room, or do you try to do something with this 23 seconds? I didn't exist when you were in high school. So I know you still have room on for I do not know what the differential I don't know, but it's in a lot of There's the kick. Gonna go deep. Sam Smith scrapes it off the ground. Uh oh. Meets shoulder to shoulder, does what he can. Gets the ball to about the 45, uh, excuse me, 35 yard line. Nineteen seconds to go in the first half before the ball. Nineteen seconds remain on the game clock for the half. There's a snap. Flag on the play. And we got a false start there. I think that was Sullivan jumped the gun on that one. Comments will back it up five and try it again. And big trouble. Going to bring Schaefer down well behind the line of scrimmage. Anyway. You're lost. Yeah. Welcome to 2021. We do have electronics now. Panthers lining up for the kick. 
If you're just joining us, Panthers are up 30-0 on the cast of comments. Uh, Solana to kick off. That was a heavy boot. It rolls back into the end zone. Comps take it at their own 20-yard line. Grant Hickel under center for the Comets. Brings a man in motion. Quarterback keeper right behind the fullback. Brought down for a gain of maybe a yard. I think he actually got two on that. <laughs> I believe you're right. <laughs> two and a half. Thomas break the huddle, second and eight. As they come out back in a wing T formation. Quarterback power again. Met behind the line of scrimmage for big stop for the Panthers there as they force a uh, third and, oh, we got back to the line of scrimmage on that third and eight. It's always kind of hard to tell where uh, where things happen when the uh, when the ball carrier starts getting shoved backwards like that. That's true. Forward momentum helps a lot. Panthers blitz a few backers as a quarterback change. Sees Landon Schaefer going deep to number ten Sullivan, swatted down by Panthers number ten um, quarterback Brock Robinson. And when we were away in the first half, we saw a passing onslaught by the Panthers, which I don't think has ever happened in the history of Pioneer football. At least not in recent memory. Well, and I think, and maybe I'm wrong. I always reserve the right to be wrong, but I think the comments came out today ready to play a ground game and uh, just aren't adjusting well to the passing game. Absolutely. Coming in week one, they saw... Uh, time at quarterback from number Kate, or number five, Caden Hill. And then uh, a young man by the name of Brian Gluth got time at the quarterback position as well. Pioneer taking possession really close to the goal line. Big hit by number seven, Grant Smith. Takes Robinson down around his own 10-yard line. Grant Hickel. What did I say? <laughs> you said Smith. What was In fairness, a lot of times those big hits do come from number five, Sam Smith. So. Robinson brings a man in motion. He's going to keep it. Keep it around the outside. Maybe gets a yard or so. That may be enough for a first down, though. Nope. Third and itches. Robinson takes a snap, hands off to the Logan Smith around the outside. 
gets wrapped up, I believe, after the first down marker by number 20, Evan Howard. Yep, chain's going down inside the 10-yard line there. Tell you what, taking a shorter pad to the legs like that, my legs hurt just seeing that. I'd rather take a shoulder pad than the helmet any day. Speed well. option to the right side. Brought down at the line of scrimmage by the Commons. Number 20, Evan Howard again on the tackle. I suppose you make a really good point. I just, you know, keeping in mind that I'm a runner, I, I, don't, I don't want anybody hitting my legs. That's fair. And some of the worst pain is when you're straight leg and you take a helmet right above, right above your knee. Robson looks to throw. Has a man open, throws it just short. He's being chased by number four, Landon Schaefer. Forces incompletion for the Commons. Panthers third and goal here from about their own 13 yard line. No, eight yard line. Makes me feel better that I'm not the only one who reads the hashes backwards. You don't have to make me feel better. I, I own it. Some days I'm doing good to know that that oblong brown thing is called the football. Caden Hill to the left side. Has one man to beat to get across and does for another pioneer touchdown. Number five, Caden Hill puts them up 36 to zero. Well, that'll take us to a running clock for the rest of the game. Defensive trouble for the Comets started as soon as the first offensive play for the Panthers when Robinson went deep to sweep for a touchdown. And just from there, just a lack of focus has been very evident. Panthers line up for two here. Robinson takes a shotgun snap, looks to throw, throws a fade Man, over no the head good. of number three, Bo Mersch. Wobbler, thoughts so far? I don't think that this is the football game that Comets fans expected to watch tonight. That's that's kind of my thoughts. Um, I think that Comets Nation came out tonight uh, thinking that, that with the graduations over these last few years um, that well, we would definitely see a, a much more offensively active first half for the Comets, and, uh, you know, I've got to say myself, I wasn't sure what to expect because, as you mentioned earlier, which may or may not have made the broadcast with the technical difficulties we were having, um, Pioneer has just been building a winning culture for decades now, and um, that's not something that graduating one or two or three athletes, no matter how phenomenal they are, that that doesn't take that away um and a very a very under underappreciated thing about those pioneer teams that had big runs and big uh big state title games is yeah they had four on the field jack kaiser but they were deep at every position and they had a lot of talent in that class was a lot of it covered up by four and how amazing he was on the field absolutely but 
just those teams from their senior to their freshman class had athletes upon athletes and just kids that wanted to show up and wanted to compete. Yeah. And then you just look across all their sports. It's a it's a really big difference, and that's that's something as a as a school as a program that's something you want to build. And you can tell the comps are starting to turn that having multiple sports uh, that are successful and have that winning mindset. And eventually, it's just got to turn into a whole a whole school wide thing. Absolutely, and that's something that uh, I have to say. I just absolutely give props to uh, Coach Porter, football coach, but he's also the strength and conditioning coach. Um, here at the school, which then covers all of the sports. And then uh, Mrs. Hurlmeyer, our athletic director, just really trying to bring in that culture of Comets Fight Hard. Um, get in the weight room, get strong, uh, support. And once again, we talked about the student section. Uh, so we have that student section is full of soccer players and cross-country runners and volleyball players and uh, just really building that culture of come kind of support each other. Uh, and then the rest of it's going to come with time. Um, you make those small incremental steps, and it doesn't matter if it's a skill you're wanting to build, if it's your personal fitness, uh, if it's a football program. You make those incremental steps, and then you keep building those, and eventually you get where you're wanting to go. And sometimes it's just really hard uh, in the day-to-day when you don't see obvious progress and you know we can take it right back to the right back here to the game we're playing tonight yeah we've seen some big passes we've seen some big runs uh but down in and down out if you'll move that football three yards you're going to keep moving the chains Mm -hmm. same concept in life same concept building a winning program And that pass is incomplete. Comments backed up way into their own territory, trying about anything to get the ball out of there. No, absolutely, Blair. You could tell uh, a transition in our, our culture when, like, we had some dominant track and cross-country teams. Our basketball team's looking to three-peat in sectional this year. Uh, our girls' basketball team's turning around. They're going to compete for a title this year as well. Our softball team was phenomenal last year. Absolutely. And it's just when it's when it's more than one sport that's successful, it – that's what starts to build a culture in the school. Absolutely. And then the one downside to a small school is that it only takes one entry injury to derail a season. And that's where you've got to have that mental backbone that it's like, okay, so this season didn't go the way we wanted. We're going to keep working hard, uh, and next season will be better. Absolutely. Um, which is, you know, that's something we're looking at with the cross country program this year. When my number two runner, uh, Edison Byram, he got injured and off the course, um, and that put him out for the season. And uh, you know, we've had those injuries. We had uh, Chris Smith get a career-ending injury or a season-ending injury. Well, it was a senior year. So, um, Aiden Sarver. Uh, we've seen that in cast and football in recent years, and it's unfortunate, but you've, the mindset has to be to keep moving forward. Grant Hickel back to pass. Sends a deep ball down, dropped um, by number 10. Number 10, Josh Sullivan. So close, couldn't quite complete on that. Pioneer looking to force, force turnover on down to get the ball real close to their own end zone. If the Comets go to bunt here, look for the Panthers to go try to block this one real heavy here. They've been kind of close on the on a few punts this evening uh, to disrupting it. So, yeah, if you look at the line of scrimmage and how how they have nine up there, they're looking to block one of these. Oh, shanked punt by Schaefer rolls out of bounds at the 50, 49 yard line. Just under two and a half minutes left here in the third.
Panthers setting up over the football. 15 seconds on the play clock. A minute 40 left to go in this third quarter with the running clock. Hands off to Logan Smith off the right tackle. Bounces off the first defender. Gets to the first down yard line. Logan Smith just running really hard tonight. I don't think he's been brought down on first contact all night. I believe you're right. I think he's bounced off of every first tackle attempt. You know who we need facing off against him? Is tonight's guest cameraman, Sam Duvall. Believe it or not, they're actually really close friends. <laughs> Bo Mersh down the left sideline, finally pushed out of bounds by five Sam Smith. Smith came out of nowhere. I was looking for that to uh, break and go across the goal line. Thomas is struggling, struggling to figure it out tonight. I believe we're going to have a quarterback substitution as Caden Hill comes in without gloves on. Eleven seconds left in the third. I'm pretty shocked Coach Barry called a timeout there instead of just letting this one run down. I'd say early in the first quarter, the first two touchdowns was Pioneer playing. Uh, their football, them, them coming out and doing what they want. And since then, it's just the Comets falling apart. We have a quarterback substitution, Caden Hill in the game. Hands off to Brian Gluth going to the right sideline. Makes one guy miss. Has a few more to beat to get to the goal line. And he's into the end zone. And that'll end the third. 42 to 0 here in the third. Pioneer lining up to go for two if I had to guess. Pioneer hasn't kicked all night, have they? No, I, I believe they're much like us. They don't have a kicker with the ability to do that. Now I do have to say, uh, pregame warm ups, I saw some kick practice by the Comets, and actually, several between the uprights looked pretty good. Of course, there's no pressure on it, so. Um, but yeah, really solid. And thinking back to was it's been three weeks ago now against uh, West Central, we had a couple of kick attempts, which is something we haven't done in a few years. I mean, usually it's just two point conversion. I'm not sure what is going on. Uh, there's a flag. I think they're gonna back up the Panthers. I didn't hear what that call was. Did you? Illegal substitution. No. Bad snap. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Going into the fourth quarter, comments will line up to receive. Back to you for the comments. Uh, Sam Smith, he's had a slow night offensively. Uh, maybe late in the fourth quarter we'll see him break open a few. Well, let's face it, especially cross-county rivals, they, they came in with number five just target painted on them. Absolutely. They knew, they knew how to get him out of the game. Kick went to Josh Sullivan. Sullivan tries to split a couple defenders. Brought down at the 22-yard line. Commas come back out there with their starting offense this time as we saw Lynn and Schaefer playing some quarterback last possession. 
Uh, one thing that the offensive line needs to keep in mind is they're, it's not just the pl uh, play clock they've got to worry about. That game clock's not stopping. Um, so if they want an opportunity to get some points on the board, they've got to keep their offense moving. Smith up the middle, puts a few yards on the play. Pioneer's defensive line has done a really good job tonight closing up the A and the B gaps and just just forcing Sam Smith into two-on-one situation. We have the younger side of Pioneer football and playing defense out there right now. Back to Smith, gets an opening, brought down by two Panthers. More than enough to move the chains though. It's one of just a spare few Comet's first downs for the night. Yeah, even if it is against uh, JV and third string defenses, it's good to just see the chain moving and something work for him. Well, and that goes back to our conversation about the culture that Pioneers built. Even JV football and Pioneers, pretty brutal. I think they had an undefeated season my senior year in JV. Uh, the Commons has got to really lock in on themselves the rest of this game, focus on going forward. Uh, they have a big contest next week against uh, LaVille. I believe that is home as well. Yes. Yes, we will be back on air next next Friday. Hopefully for the entire game. <laughs> we do apologize for the technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Technology is great when it works. Schaefer in motion. Hand off to Smith. Finds a hole. He's going to try to outrun the defense. And he does. Sam Smith cracking that goose egg. With uh, just under nine minutes left on the game clock. As we were talking about kicking, I believe we're sending out our team to kick the PAT here. Well, moral victory if nothing else because you never want to end a night on a shutout. Absolutely. And just to see Sam Smith break open and get his legs back under him. Yeah, especially as he was a little slow to get up. Uh, extra point deflected, no good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Comets sending their kickoff team out there for only the second time of the night. 8-13 left in the game. Pioneer 42, Comets 6. Look for the, the Panther return team here to try something different in the back row. Smith having to turn on the Jets to get that ball into the end zone, and now turn them on again. And now switch them into big boot mode. Back deep to number two, Logan Smith, who has an edge, only a few to beat, has a block, pushed out about the 42-yard line. Didn't see who uh, pushed him out. Was that Schaefer? I can't tell you. If I was blind betting, five was around the play. <laughs> Number seven, Grant Hickle on the opposite side. Cramping up, it appears to be. It's that time of night. We've cooled off, but... That 77 degree starting temp comes into play later on. It's 
Send somebody out there with a mustard packet. Some salt tablets and pickle juice. Blair, where's a cross country team at tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we head up to Valley for the uh, Tippecanoe Valley Invitational. Uh, always a favorite of the athletes because they get to watch all of the coaches suffer after they're done running. And there's the uh, traditional coaches race up there. Really? Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, Blair, you're going to win it. No. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, I am. Uh, I suffer no disillusions about that. But I am, however, going to compete. Uh, I'm going to come across the line, heaving or in pain, one or the other. Um, demonstrate for the athletes that it doesn't matter where you are in the pack, you finish as hard as you can. It's, uh, that's something that uh, I've really been trying to uh, apply to my life for the last year and uh, just demonstrate for my athletes that uh, I, I want to hold myself to the standard I ask out of them. And... Uh, yeah, it turns out that's hard. <laughs> Winning culture starts at the top, Blair. I need a win tomorrow. <laughs> yes, but we all define a win a little differently. Coming across the line with no torn ligaments in the knee, it will be a win. Number one, Eli Nickel, and for the Panthers, the quarterback. And uh, it's, I don't know if you realize they were playing football. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that was a loss of a yard. As the Panthers look to reset from that first down attempt. Well, in fairness, we've got a, a JV O-line playing against uh, Comet's defense that has been warming up the entire game playing against the, the Big Panthers. So... six thirty-six left to play here tonight. Flag on the play. Is that going to be a false start against the defense? False start. No, against false start offense. against the offense. Takes them back to a second and 16, I believe. Twenty seconds on the play clock. Six ten left on the game clock. Snap. Run attempt straight up the middle. Gains a yard. Maybe two. It's like third and 16. Clock winding down to about 5.25 left here in the fourth. As I think both teams are just trying to get out of the rest of this one with no serious injuries now. And just start to look towards the next one. Execute late in the game. Get out of here healthy. That's what both coaches are looking for right now. Um, Panthers is still... Um, Panthers JV is... Going to turn it over for the Comets at their own 50. Braden Malott with that turnover tackle. Leg number four, Lana Schaefer is going to be taking the rest of the quarterback snaps tonight. I got to wonder what the game plan was there. After that series dropped as many yards as it did why would you not punt that was third down they didn't get the fourth down <laughs> okay explain that to me how's that happen uh first down uh the quarterback drops the snap second down they got no yards and a flag and third down josh snap but it rolls backwards i'm gonna grab it ah i didn't see the i didn't see the drop snap gotcha that makes a lot more sense. Excuse me. No worries. Comments, however, moving the chains. Under four minutes left to play. That running clock makes a big difference in, in how the 
I mean, it has to even make a difference in, in how you look at your huddles and your offense. Absolutely. But if if you have if you have a running clock put on you, you're not too worried about crunching every second after that. Hannah at the middle, number 44, Chase Angot. Makes a man miss, bounces off a few more tacklers, gets down to about his own 20-yard line. Not bad running by the young young fullback, Chase Angot. Chase is quick. He's a, he's a sprinter for us in the spring, and he can, he can make tracks. Down to the 250 mark in this fourth quarter. Back up the middle. Angot gains about another five or six yards for the comments here. Kyle Routabush heading back out. Well, as uh, number 85, Levi Martin. I think Grant Hickel's going to unstrap his helmet for the night, as well as Sam Smith has already done. Let these young kids get a little varsity experience out there. Looks like second and four. Yeah. Dive to Angot again, makes one man miss, brought down after a pickup of two or three, maybe. Just need one more play like that to uh, get a new set of downs. Under two minutes to play. He's got the first down for the Comets. Uh, that was another Comets first down. No. Wait. I see two officials. Chains, chains move should be a Comet first down. I I saw two officials gesturing two different directions. I was like, hold on. <laughs> Just over 60 seconds remain. Comet's looking to get one more score on the board. Pioneer student section letting the Comet fans hear it. Yeah, hats off again to both student sections tonight. Out here uh, giving the players a lot of encouragement. Thirty thirty five seconds. On the game clock, only 17 remain on the play clock. Look for the comps to get one more play off here. Try to punch it in. Hand off to Angot again. Penalty flags down on the field. So clock should stop. Oh, going to bring it back. False start against the Comets. Now, I would assume that we'd have time added back to the clock, but... I think they're calling it. Again, just a, uh, a bit of a moral moral score is what we're looking for there. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of four quarters, Pioneer Panthers 42, Casting Comets 6. Uh, we do appreciate you joining us this evening. Not sure whether or not we'll get Coach Porter up here. Um, we, uh, we shall see. In the interim, we're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors. Uh, stay tuned. This has been Comets and Panthers football here on RTC TV4.